Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a custom UA tab user using XAB. Let's go to Xcode. Create a new Xcode project. Select single view app. Next. And give a project name. And make sure you select a script. Next. Create. We go to main the storyboard. Go to library and drag a tab view into a view control. Now give the constraints. Now through assistant editor we will map view controller and table view. Now we will create a new file. This cocoa touch class next and it should it should be subclass of a by table yourself. No. Make sure you have selected also create XIB file and click next. Create. Now go to support cell XIB. And from library, drag a UI view. Into XIB. And set the constraints. And now drag an image view Now give the constraints If you can change, so now go to library again and then drag a label. Give constraints for the label also. If you can change, now we will map this to the W class and delete this unwanted course. Reference. Megaphones. Feet. Now go to view, view, dot, view control and shift. Add the protocols, you write table, delegate. In data source. Now we will confirm the protocols.
we need to register the X, we need to register our XIV file w reference dot register select the second one register the your new file nib is also mean as xib here select the second one using string and string name is our class name that is supports so bundle nil and reusable identifier I'll give it as an ID and we need to set here in our XIB Go identifier ID Now we will create a basic methods that we need that we needed for a table view. Number of sections, just write in one. Our rows, sin sections we will declare later, and cell for element index path we will declare later. We will go to assets. I have some some images that I download from internet. Now I will drag the images into this my assets. Now go to view control shift. I will create an array. Rose, sunflower. No, I don't have sunflower or dahlia. Dahlia. Linaria. Jasmine. Lily. Hibiscus, Hibiscus, okay now our row count is going to be the num number of items in the array, return, count, mouse, let cell is equal to we'll create a cell from table reference this type of dk reusable cell and it's having an identifier it's id and index path is simply index path right now it's a support cell now cell dot field is equal field dot text is equal to array of index points to true now cell dot field dot we will set the text color as a white it's equal to AY color dot white and we will set the cell dot field dot font is equal to 
you will set the UI, UI font for the text as bold system font and size 30 and now we are going to declare image match the ref sorry dot image reference dot image is equal to UI image dot named is of a type string we have an array here it is uh, it contains some strings actually it's the name of the image that we dragged here in assets name RF index path so now we will set the background of the view that is cell dot view reference dot background color is equal to we will use the color literal and I'll use is the color that you like. I'll use this one now. Now return so Oh, here it is ready, but some of the cell here are too large and some of them are too small. C In base of a lily, we don't have any flower because here yeah, there is a spelling mistake. Now we will give a height for row. Height for row at index path, CG float. Let's give you some 300. And the next IB, we'll set the image view scale to aspect fit from scale to fill no return, I forgot to put return ok, return 300 we should be coming ok, now it is ready but the background is not looking good, I know and the pictures sizes also is different because I took a random pictures from the internet and just download it. I didn't alter alter its sizes. I think I need to change the background. It's too ugly. Maybe this one is good. Oh, this is much better. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching.